Oh, God's laws are loving. Everything is loving. Um, if we are born, we have our soul, and then we have our parents causing our error or whatever. I'm having trouble seeing that as loving, even though I know our parents cause it. Do you know what I mean? Like the soul is uh, has no defence against that. No, your soul has very little defence against anybody else in the universe acting in an unloving manner, whether that's your parents or anyone else. Because there is no law looking at unloving events. There are only laws looking at loving events. Do you understand? Like, our soul has no defence against unloving actions. In the sense that we can't prevent unloving actions taken by others. We can't prevent them, ever. Now, when you're in a state of complete love, you don't need to prevent them anyway. Because they don't affect you emotionally anymore. You don't feel bad about them. So to you, they're not bad anymore. So when you're at one with God, somebody comes along and shoots you, you don't think that's a bad event. So you're not afraid of somebody coming along and shooting you anymore. And because you're not afraid, the chances of it happening are far less. <laughs> Does that make sense? Right? But if I'm not at one with God and someone comes along and threatens to shoot me, I'm afraid of death. And so the chances of it happening are greater. And also, I am going to be traumatised by the event because I'm not yet at one with God. I'm not yet in a state of complete love. So there is some fear in me that needs to be released. And it's going to be released through the event that I've attracted. 